Hello! Uh, this is a surprise pop-up chat. Um, it is Sunday, it is Sunday, and I am here to tell you who was at Balmoral, because of course all the photos have come back. Once this video has finished going live, I will put the link to the photographs in the video, so if you're watching this on Catch Up, please open that window in a separate window so you can see the photographs and we can obviously talk about it. So, who was at Balmoral this week? Uh, well, of course, the Queen was there and she was seated next to William. Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, was sat next to the Queen. The previous visit that he was here, so he's been here at least twice during the summer break, the annual Queen summer break um, in Scotland. This is the second occasion that we know of. Previously, Catherine was seated next to the Queen, but no, uh, this time there was no sight of Catherine. She's believed to have been back at Balmoral Castle looking after the children. So George, Charlotte and Louis are believed to have been there but obviously weren't seen and Catherine was looking after them. So it was William's duty, um, although a great honour I think, to sit next to his grandmother, the Queen, on the way to Craffy Kirk Church which is situated just next to the Balmoral estate. We also saw Charles and Camilla. Um, no, Fake news, Charles did not kick Camilla out of the castle, as some unscrupulous news outlets have been su even suggesting, daring to suggest, uh, which made me very angry. Although it is rather laughable, this whole story about Charles kicking Camilla out of the castle. Very dramatic, just designed to get, you know, clicks, it's clickbait. People are trying to make money off the back of it. And there was me thinking that silly season was over. We call um, August, when the royals are on their break and there's no royal new news, silly season. And I thought silly season was over. But no, silly season is here and looks like it's going to stay uh, because people are clicking on it. So people have been saying that Charles kicked Camilla out um, and they try to link that in with, well, where is Camilla? She's not been seen. Well, she hasn't been seen because... Perhaps she was just taking a break. Um, perhaps she was spending time with her family. There have been no, to my knowledge anyway, cancelled engagements. Um, so if there was something up with Camilla, if something had happened, there would have been cancelled engagements. There wasn't. It's probably just a quiet period for the Duchess. She's probably spending time relaxing, probably spending time with her family before her really busy private engagement, um, pr private schedule of engagements commences ready for the autumn, although she has undertaken some engagements already, but she has had a quiet period. But no, it's not because she's been kicked out of the castle or palace or any of these things that people have been saying. She was seated quite happily next to Prince Charles, who was driving himself to church this week. So we have seen the Queen and um, Prince William and Charles and Camilla. We believe, obviously, that Catherine's at the castle looking after the children. But we also think, because this is the week on um, Thursday just gone, where it's the annual Gillies Ball, where they all have that dance. I'm sure you've seen that amazing video, of uh, that vintage footage of the Queen dancing, doing the Gillies Ball, where they're all kind of, you know, doing the dancing and they're doing the little bits of jigging around. Um, so that happened on Thursday. It's usually Thursday of that week. So we believe that the Cambridges were up at Balmoral for the Gillies Ball. Well, hey! Um, I'm, I can't see all the comments because I'm quite, sat, quite, sat quite far back from the screen. Um, so if I'm not answering your comments, that is why. Um, no, I, I really can't see any. Let me see if I can pull some up on the screen. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Um, I don't want to tamper with the screen just in case it goes completely wrong. So that is who has been at Balmoral this week. Um, Cheryl says, good afternoon, Elliot. It's ITV broadcasting, oh, is ITV broadcasting Princess Eugenie's wedding? We don't know. There has been no confirmation. And I did speak about this um, on my live chat last night where I said, obviously, I haven't got an invite. But I remember with some of the previous announcements that they were going to broadcast the audio, but it mentioned nothing about visuals. So I'm thinking the visuals aren't going to be broadcast, but we'll have to wait and see closer to the time. Of course, they are comparing it now to the Earl and Countess of Wessex's wedding. That was televised. So there's still hope, fingers crossed, that um, it's going to be televised. Um, but no, I haven't heard anything yet about it. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, so I'm going to go now because I need to finish off 
making my weekly vlog, which I'm going to hopefully post tonight or tomorrow. Um, oh, Latoya says people need to stop listening to some of the things they hear about them. The Royals, yes. Uh, there is so much fake news out there. You have to be very, very careful. Um, Rosalie Shappett says it's too bad you weren't in invited. It was, but there was 100,000 people that, uh, that applied. So, you know, only 1,200 1, were lucky enough to get selected. That's a lot of people that were disappointed. But you can understand why, because there is limited space. Um, Margaret says celebrating the happy times with the royals makes them feel more relevant. It does indeed. Um, and of course we have, we have so much access to the royals these days. Uh, Rosie Shepard says I saw your thumbnail, too cute. Uh, do you mean this one or the one of me and Harry from last night's chat where I gave him a very special birthday kiss? <gasps> we have 99 people watching, wow. Um, how will England accept Camilla is a question coming through. Um, well, I mean they've had since 2005 to, to really get to know her. I think public opinion is changing. Of course, you've got those diehard Diana supporters who who really can't bring themselves to support Camilla in any facet whatsoever. Personally, I'm in the, I like Diana, I like Camilla camp. Um, they're both two very individual characters and um, I don't really like in my own mind to have them competing against each other. Um, I think Camilla is a standalone royal in her own right. She's done lots of good work. She's been really supportive to Charles and the public don't have a say. It's not Big Brother. You can't vote the royals in or out. Um, once Charles is king, it's British law. Camilla will be queen whether anybody likes it or not. So, you know, take it as you will. Um, and that's just basically it. I want to know how I get these questions. How do I get the questions up on screen. It's the first time I've done a live chat from my phone. I'm doing it from my phone here. Um, and I don't know how to get all the all the comments. Ah, I've got them. I have got them. I just pressed the screen. Okay. Um, people giving me kisses. Uh, Diana says, yes, I love them both. Uh, and yes, Camilla does make Charles very happy. Um... Is that Liz? Lizzie says, hi, love your, uh, you're a new viewer from LA. The, the writing's really small on the screen, so I, I'm having trouble seeing it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go now because it was just a really quick chat to pop on to say, you know, who is at Balmoral that Charles hasn't kicked Camilla out of the castle and the reasons why that, um, why she's been probably a little bit quiet. And of course, to tell you all about the Gillies Ball, which has um, happened on Thursday, we do believe. Um, so there we go. If you have enjoyed this very quick live chat, then please give it a big old thumbs up. There are 89 of you watching and there was 90 of so I expect that many thumbs up. Um, and also don't forget to share this video on social media and also hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye. And I'm now gonna have to figure out how to turn this off. <laughs>